decided to make it phase one and today is another one of our little educational videos yep today we're going to have a look at the simple way to understand dmx addressing now i stress the simple way to understand dmx addressing we're not going to get all complicated and fancy we're going to keep it simple so we'll start with the easy bits right so this is our dmx desk and we're going to go with a cable connecting our four fixtures and we want all these fixtures to do the same thing and all these fixtures are the same so simply we are going to address it as zero zero one simple let's take it to the next level right let's make it a little bit more complicated so earlier we learned that we can get our DMX desk and we can address a fixture to one and we can control those fixtures addressed as one but in reality we want to control lots of different fixtures and we just want to have one continuous chain so what we've done is the circle represents these are all the same fixture the squares are all the same fixture and the triangles are all the same fixture but we've come out of our DMX desk and we've gone right the way along the chain imagine if this was on a truss system or on a T-bar or a lighting stand we don't want cables going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards one continuous chain so we've addressed our first fixture which is in four channel mode and we've addressed it as 001 out of the choice of 512 addresses we can choose from but you would always start with one I think so anyway so when we send an instruction to this unit here so selecting fixture number one addressed as one and say we wanted it to go red the, the light to go red it would go red and then that instruction would pass through this fixture and then this would turn red it would pass through this fixture through this fixture this would turn red and so on until we got to the end but now we want to be able to take control of the other fixtures within the chain so we have to set another address do we have any ideas of what the next address should be no it's not two right why isn't it two well this fixture here our first fixture is four channels and it's taking up four addresses so it's taking up four spaces on our 512 available so the next fixture has to be yeah right zero zero five so we're going to address it as five right so now you can see these fixtures are now addressed as five and if we send an instruction from our desk to the fixture that is addressed as five the message will pass through here and go to five through here and go to five and the instruction will if you wanted to turn the light on red green blue whatever you wanted it to do it would do so at this point we have got control of two different fixtures on two different addresses and we did that remember by this we worked out we start at zero zero one this fixture is taking up four channels taking up four of our addresses so the next fixture has to be addressed at five so any guesses to where we're going to be on our next address well yes yes you're right you're right absolutely we are going to go to 15 because we've taken up four here and we've taken up 10 here and this adds up to 14 we need to go to the next address so which makes it that these will be addressed as 15 and then your units will all be addressed to take commands from the DMX desk so there you go we've got all our fixtures addressed up so we've got 1, 5 and 15 all different fixtures and we can send instructions to each individual one if we send an instruction to number one it will deliver the, the instruction to here it will pass through here deliver it to here pass through here pass through here and deliver it to there and the same would work for all the fixtures thus letting us put all our fixtures in one long chain to get them into position we want to on our stage show or on our lighting bar or on our stage or wherever we want to be and we've got right up to 500 and 12 addresses to use using the theory that we've just learned about addressing fixtures differently we could 
actually think of this as you could have all these fixtures being the same so all these fixtures are the same let's think of them as par cans and we wanted them to act differently and program them differently say we want to uh, build a chase on our DMX controller we would have to have them addressed differently so we could then send a message to number one to go green and send a different message to number five to go blue and follow that on around the chain now you can make as many different chases as you want by addressing different cans and sending different instructions to different par cans so you know it depends how complicated you want to get but it could be a simple you know you're going to use all the same fixtures and you just want each individual individual fixture to do something different and we're actually going to show you an example of that working in the shop so what we set up here is a little dmx desk this is not a full-on dmx desk this is a very simple cutback item that we would use to program uh, PARs and LED bars and such as like no good for moving head fixtures no good for scanners and lasers and things like that this is just for LED bars and PARs but what we've done is we've done some address trickery like what we've been showing you earlier in the video so as you can see I've got control of all of the fixtures all on sliders and I can choose my colours but what I've got down the side of here is I've got five buttons so that's five different fixtures and it just so happens we've addressed those bars all differently instead of addressing them all the same at the minute every fixture is selected so I'll get in control of all of them but if I turn off fixture number one there you go I've now only got control of the others I haven't got control of fixture number one so if let's say I turn off fixture number four I've only got control of two three and five so what we could do is we could do some different colors bring that color up there and then if I wanted to change that I haven't got control of that one there so let's do that a different color then if I wanted to I could program some chases in now it just so happens that I do believe we have got um, built into here some chases but at the minute what I'll need to do I'll just need to select all the fixtures to get them in the chase and then we'll press the auto chase and now you can see they're all chasing differently and I can adjust the speed and it's because that I have actually programmed these lights and address them all differently now when I turn that off I've got no control so I've got no fixtures selected if I press number one I now have control of number one and again all because they have been addressed differently like I showed you earlier in the video